Get everyone, Nathan here at Glass for Classics. Now, one that we get asked for a lot, HQ to WB Holdens. This is for the sedan, ute, panel van and station wagon. Now, these particular runners happen to be the HQ that we're doing today. However, the HJ to WB, although slightly different, the process is exactly the same. Now, the original rubber that held this runner onto the glass, it's not available, certainly at the time of me making this video. It is not available. Now, a lot of guys will urethane the runners on or silicon them. To be honest, if you screw it up, you're not gonna get it back off your glass again. We use the setting tape, same as we do for all the earlier models. This is the two millimeter thick setting tape. It's only about $10 a meter. Uh, this is what we would advise. Now, for this particular one, HQs, of course, have this big bracket on the front. HJ to WB, you're gonna have a small fin section off the front. You're gonna line that up flush with the glass. So this one, while specific to the HQ, this process, follow the rest of it. We're gonna make this. For the HQ, one thing that I do like to do, I stop this setting tape short by about an inch at the front edge. I'll explain why soon. There we run it to the rest of the glass. Trim that to length. Now, all we're gonna do, fold this in half into a V shape. Nice and easy, you don't need to be too precise. Near enough is good enough. As I said, this is the two millimeter thick setting tape. Any thinner and it's not gonna have enough bite. So, I'm gonna stand the glass up. Sit that back from the edge by about an inch. We're just gonna grab some kerosene here on the rag. Give this a bit of a wipe so it's got a nice shiny finish to it. This is gonna lubricate it to get the runner on, but it's also going to cause it to tack off. Now, remember, this bracket always runs to the front of the glass. If you're doing a rear door glass, exactly the same principle. This runner is at the front edge of your glass, and these C channels here are facing inside the vehicle. So we're gonna line this up. You want roughly 10 millimeters from the end of this to the end of the glass, front and back. That way you know you're in the right spot. Now I hold onto this as I'm pulling it down just for the HQ. Okay, now, the reason I leave this inch at the front is for safety. These brackets, they're quite weak, and you can see as I move this, it moves quite readily on the glass. So this is nice and tight all the way along, but there's not a lot of strength in the front of this bracket. And if you've got these brackets in the door adjusted incorrectly, it's putting a lot of tension on it. So what I do, I come back, we use this as just a windscreen adhesive. I just go back and I infill just the very edge, the last inch of this glass. This will just ensure that it is nice and solid. And if you've not lined up that front edge properly, that way it won't end up causing you grief. Just gonna grab our little squeegee, wipe the excess off. That's done. Now, grab our razor blade, trim this. Remove the excess. You are now completely finished. That can go straight to the vehicle. You don't need to let that dry or cure or anything else. As I said, that little bit of uh, adhesive or uh, neutral cure silicon or windscreen adhesive that is purely a fail safe. You don't need to stress about that. That runner will now not come off. Before you put these, or once these, sorry, once these are back in the car, you need to lubricate them. Make sure you're using just some normal bearing grease that you use for the trailer hubs. You want to lubricate in this C channel, but also importantly, are these wheels. These ones are spinning nice and freely. If these are seized, which is quite common, get onto that. Free them up before you put them in the vehicle, because once it's in that guide track, it is almost impossible to get them to spin freely again. So plenty of actual just bearing grease in there, lather it up, it will make for a nice smooth operation. As I said, 
This is the HQ. If you've got the HJ through to WB, you've actually got a flat spot on the front of your glass. You want to line up that tab at the bottom dead flush with the edge of your glass. If you do that, it'll slide nice and easily up in the Bailey channel. Now, if you need glass, we do keep this. We manufacture all of this. If you need setting tape, we've got that in stock too. So give us a call. Our number is 1300 442 000 or send us an email to inquiries at glassforclassics.com.au. Talk to you soon.